going on, niche gaming enthusiast Michael Jordan here with Brandon Orselli, Big Boss. We got to see one of the most fucking th things that I've been waiting to see, and this is Rogue Trooper Redux. This was originally a game that came out in 2006, and it was it was really uh, like had a huge cult following, great scores all around. A lot of people really love this game. And it's just getting a full like reskin and, and you know some tweaks and stuff like that to, to bring it to more people because it didn't really reach a, a, a really more mainstream audience and get on all the platforms that it could potentially really serve well on. So now we actually have video. This is uh, the pre-beta build of the game, and it's going to be coming out. Uh, I think it's like next year or something like that. But uh, it's we got first footage right here that you're actually checking out this direct footage and we actually have the first gameplay hands-on to, to check the new controls how it feels and I gotta say it, it feels amazing how about you yeah I mean dude it um you know you can kind of feel like it's an older shooter um, but I mean that that's what they were going for obviously they didn't want to change the original experience they they went in they redid the assets you know everything looks like like it like a modern game you know um, but they they added some small tweaks though, but I mean overall, I mean it's it felt like a really awesome solid shooter. I mean, plus it's just ridiculous if you have these these blue uh, you know bioengineered guys. Um, well, it's a system of bio. So like this was back when you could talk about like you know kind of eugenicsy sort of shit in comic books, and nobody would freak out. But what they did was they bred these super soldiers through genetics and through crossbreeding and you also notice that there were like some blue women in there you know and they all have like the perfect build you know they're and it's kind of like you look at the characters it's very grindhouse all the girls have kind of like these like hips and boobs but the fucking big guns and the muscle tone and all the dudes are all ripped and shit and they got you know they're really straight out military and they have personality though they're not like we're stripped down soldiers it's like no, they left the human personality aspect in them, and that's what kind of makes Rogue Trooper so cool, especially as a comic, because the, as they said, the guy's name is Rogue, but the, the, the overall double tone here is that through certain sequences and events, he just goes, you know what, I'm fucking killing everybody, like, fuck you, you're done, and so... It's it's really bringing that quest forward, and it's oh man, I, I was just so happy to see it because I'm a fan of these old grindhouse comics. So I mean, it's, it, we you have to point out that this is based in the 2080 universe, right? I mean, it's 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 famous for Judge Dredd, obviously, but yep. the the whole world, you know, to put into perspective, the the surface, you know, was completely like annihilated. It's like post nuclear war. It's in, it's uninhabitable. So you have these these bi these you know these engineered super soldiers. Um, I think they're actually called um, genetic infantrymen or like GI. You know, yeah, it's like a little pun. It's GI. Yeah, yeah uh, and they obviously are bred to just breathe the poisonous air, right? But they're fighting uh, the, the normal people who. As you can um, see, our boy here pop up on screen. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait for the loading. So you can get an idea of kind of like what we when we were getting the example and stuff of the setup for what was going on. But this is all hands-on from us, so yeah. um, I was on the other side of the screen doing the demo, and uh, yeah, man, I mean, it, it was just, it was so fun. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, really, like, it really, kind of, it was striking, I mean, the off-screen stuff doesn't do justice, that's why we have the, the direct feed capture here, um, but the game um, really shines, like, you would not think that it's, it's based on, like, literally a, like, a ten-year-old game, you know? Um, I mean, well, it did a hell of a lot of stuff that was, like, before its time or kind of, like, right in that time frame. Like, that's true. The, the whole, the like, like taking cover and stuff like that is super smooth. Like, you'll get to see to a point where it's, like, you just kind of, like, walk up and you're, like, boom, it's done. It wasn't, like, Gears of War kind of, like, you know, how they had to kind of learn how to do it. And you notice the, the movement, the striping. This is all super easy to control. Like, everything that you're doing is, like, oh, okay, you know, uh, very common, but these are you're, you're also in a, a, a body and a character that is meant for battle. It's not like everything's going wild. Like these guys are like, okay, we have yeah. chips in our on our heads that keep our yeah. brains intact just in case we die. You know, it, um, it's kind of like so they have those bio chips, right? And you'll you'll see it coming up. You know, you have your, your platoon here with your buddies and stuff, and so 
they when these guys when they created these these super soldiers, they literally wanted to make sure that they retained all their battle uh, their like knowledge from, from like from just battling, right? So they die, they retain that chip, they put it in another soldier's body, so they can keep getting stronger and better. So. Well, they, they would have to rebreed them, sort of thing. But yeah. the, what one of the things is like, boom! You see how quickly it snapped right there, um, and he's un he's in cover. Like it, it wasn't a, a struggle or anything. He was just boom, boom, and it was done. It was super easy to do. Uh, you know, obviously. But this is also um, a, a uh, pre-beta build. Like there is a, it, it's there's a lot of elements here that were recreated as well to match the original game for newer systems. Yeah. Uh, here we go. See, watch. So there's there's little uh, transition to these these in-game cutscenes. It's pretty. It's just seamless, right? So you see, oh no, like our. Oh no! Frank! Or whatever his name is. Number 42, I have no idea. Uh, so, you know, he gets killed. So you go, re and you go all fucking, you know, autistic revenge on him. And, but the, uh, but that's the thing, though. It's like, they might be bred, but these are, like, they're people, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And that's so, kind of a big part of the, the universe. Yeah, I mean, you can just see, like, he pulled off the tubes from the dude. So there are stealth kills in the game, so you can sneak up on the the guys who are just normal humans in these suits you can pull off their tubes and then they, they, they just die you know obviously they can't breathe this this atmosphere so um and he's like oh no you will go on and live on you won't die right now it's, it's something along the lines of that well you know, basically it's like on. even in death they can't escape war or something like that yeah. because of the, the sort of stuff but yeah it's in the back of the neck and he just rips it out yeah and here's the cool thing, though, right? So you get his chip, right? And then he puts it into his gun. Yeah. Um, so, you know, so it lets you carry their, you know, I'm doing air quotes here, their memories into battle. But it, it'll, from what I gather, it'll okay? give you different abilities depending on what chips you get. Well, it's kind of, it's kind of like, they're, I mean, semi-spoilerish, but it's like in the comic and it's very upfront in the beginning. This is time for that your platoon basically gets wiped out. That's the whole premise of the game, yeah. and, and and it's how it's. So it's not really spoilers. It's kind of how the game is presented. It's like the very beginning. You're you're the last man standing, and you basically uh, you got like your three buddies just get killed, and you're like seeing. They, they, you gotta also remember that these guys might be bred for war. They have the skills and all that stuff, yeah. but they don't like. They've never experienced combat, like actual combat. Like it's all simulations. So these guys are going through this with all the 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 the, the kind of muscular uh, and skill and all that stuff of like a hardened battle trooper, but with the mind of somebody who has never seen it. So it's like you went instant uh, PTSD, like you know. And that's and that's why it's like fuck that shit. And as you can see, we're actually coming up to um, the end because unfortunately our our times got all crammed in. We so many appointments at E3, but just stuff we can't even talk about yet, but, um, yeah, it's just really cool, they have these kind of, like, it's very simple set piece, like, the, this thing's going on, obviously, they're, they're, you got the background and all that, it looks pretty fucking dope, especially when you're considering the game, and this was, you know, they're, they're adding in all these extra troops, there's some extra units and stuff like that, but yeah, you take out the tank and whatnot, um, so, it, it's just, it's really amazing to me to, to see just how well done they kind of have been transitioning because you'll notice that there's a lot of like kind of very soft textures combined with these really hard metal textures which are you know they're those are the ones that were easy to do back in the day um but that's actually where our, our footage ended was with that yeah uh, i i really wish that we actually got to sit in more with it but um it's i don't know like what, what are you what are your kind of final thoughts on that from that experience because that was even pre-beta build yeah, I mean, I, I went in knowing that it was, you know, it's a, it's kind of like a redone remaster of the original, it's a classic, um, and I, I can't, I was really impressed, I mean, I, it takes a lot for me to get excited for shooters, it's normally your typical setups, your typical dude bro, whatever, kind of nonsense, but this is totally different theme, it's totally different, um, and I mean, it's it's looking really cool. I think it's coming out later this year, like PC, PS4, Xbox One. Maybe it so. depends on on what their schedule is like, because yeah. you know, obviously, that's a pre-beta build. So, yeah, you know, that they're technically that's alpha. Yeah, you know, and it, it just controlled so well. Um, from my understanding, from talking to them, is they they have it 
almost to the point where they're gonna go full beta with the full game and then do the tweaks and the animations and stuff like that from from what I was hearing. Yeah, Rebellion, they're they're on a roll. I mean, um, we have other stuff coming out from them as well, so so please keep an eye out. But um, Road Trooper, you know, I mean, they're doing a lot of stuff with this game. You know, they have um, lots of modern stuff that we didn't really specifically touch on, like parallax mapping, dynamic lights, dynamic shadows. I mean, there's there's lots of things that have just made this an even better game. So, yeah, it's they're they're really going for that experience. But the best thing is, is they're not losing the grit. You know, if you're yeah. a fan yeah. of fucking Rogue Trooper, and that was also the other thing because I'm I'm a big fan of it, and they gave like like a, an E3 special print book yeah, for it, cool. and I was like, <laughs> what? Like, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, that was like a normie moment for me. I was like. Dude, and they, they gave us a, a bag and, and the fucking lanyard, which is like my new keychain now. So uh, it's pretty pretty fucking dope. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, be excited. Definitely check this one out. This is this is one to keep your you know your eyes on and ears down to the ground to see when it's coming out. So uh, thank you guys so much. We got more E3 videos coming. It's been a little bit slow, but this one should go up shortly after we are doing this while drinking a couple beers. So, <laughs> we'll see you soon, guys.